Hey guys, welcome to this Gear VR video where we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft VR. Okay, we start off with the VR warning. Some people do get sick in VR and I used to get motion sickness and I've gotten it a few times with the Gear VR so it's something to definitely keep in mind. Game controller, a game controller is required. I'm using the Matricom Bluetooth controller. I got it off Amazon for $17 and it's worked for every game I've played so far. I'm going to show you some options first. There I am, I've created my, I've chosen a different avatar and changed my name to Spikachu. So you can choose, they have a couple available skins available to you from the beginning. You have five here, two here, um, and some that I guess are locked. And then if you wanna change your name, you come right what do you click on oh it's in options there it is you just click right there all right so we got sound volume music difficulty third person texture packs multiplayer options and you can sign into xbox live and play with people who are on xbox live sensitivity for your controller uh invert the y-axis which I like it on off, auto jump um, off, keyboard layout and controller layout. I'm just gonna leave it on its defaults. This is the graphics options, VR brightness. I'm just gonna leave it on the defaults, everything on the defaults for VR render distance, text, Texel anti-aliasing and field of view, beautiful skies, experimental high GUI, GUI. All right, VR controls. These are all the defaults and I'm just um, leaving them on the defaults as well. Show control, scale selection screen, VR controls, head steering, 3D rendering, linear jump, linear motion, sticky mining, and HUD drift. So I'm gonna leave it all at the defaults and we're gonna go into play. Okay, so you start off in a little Minecraft cabin, and this, this is one of the modes you can play in. Um, you can play in this kind of like you're in a little theater if uh, being in VR too long is getting to you and you just want to sit back and, and not deal with any motion happening all around you. And then in addition to that, there are two control settings, VR controls moderate and classic controls intense I've tried out the intense controls and I like it I haven't tried out moderate but I'll show you both so we're gonna start off with intense the classic jumping and turning not tuned for VR and has comfort level of intense for most people controls can also be changed in game via the option menu so okay so we start off this is the theater mode I'll show you just a little bit about it the purpose of this video is to really just show you what Minecraft is like in VR um, I'm not really trying to build anything or find anything just showing you the controls for this video and in future videos we can maybe go on some adventures so to change through your items down here you're gonna use the bumpers on your controller going to the right going to the left to place your items you're going to use the trigger button like that. No, nope. that's the digging button. Use the left one, the left trigger button. And you got to look where you want to place it. There you go. All right. Now to bring up the menu where you have all your different um, materials, you press Y, which is the top button on your controls. And you have all these different options here. So you can also use the bumpers to cycle through them or you can look at them and press A and you have all your different items okay so I'm gonna stick with the diamond sword now to fly it's just like mobile controls double tap A and then you can um, hold A to go up higher and B to go down lower very cool so far all right now to go into the full VR immersive mode you just tap on the touchpad 
and it zooms you right in, which is pretty cool. And you see the GUI, it's it's a drifting. That's actually one of the settings. You can turn that off. Some people don't like it drifting um, or sticking to your head movements. It feels kind of weird. Let's pause the game and just press start and you have access to your options, um, volume, pretty much all the options except for like multiplayer, the controller options, the rendering options, and the VR control options. Okay, so let's go back to game. Now there are two ways to look all around you. You can actually turn your head, look up and down, or you can turn the right joystick and it turns the world around you, which I kind of like as well. You don't have to turn your head so much. But if you want to, you can go ahead and play as if and you can use both and it kind of speeds up your turning which which is like a, a really good combination it it um if you're staying still and you're turning the right joystick it's a little dizzying but if you're turning while holding the right joystick it speeds it up and it doesn't it kind of masks the dizzying effect and to use your shovel you just hold the right trigger you want to start collecting some dirt Collecting some wood. You can't you can't use the controller to look up. You can only move your head to look up. There might be some settings to change that, but that's what it is for now. Okay, so that's what the experience is like in the intense mode. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the moderate mode. All right, so here we have moderate. Turning occurs in segments. The cursor and jumping have been tuned for VR to improve the comfort during movement for most people. It's a work in progress. So, how does it work so far? So, in theater mode, it looks pretty much the same. I don't see how it's being tuned for VR yet. But we're gonna hopefully find out. Okay. So I'm gonna go into full VR mode. There we go. And that is what they're talking about. So it's choppy. Which some which uh the reason why they say it's tuned for VR is because with the motion blur, as opposed to this choppiness, the motion blur adds the moving effect. But when you have a moving effect on your brain and you're not actually moving, that's what leads to motion sickness. So with the choppiness, that lessens that, um, that effect. So you won't get as, as much motion sickness. So that's that. You can still turn your head and everything and be fine. Um, and I do notice that it is a little it's less harsh than the full... And the full turning motion blur effect. It's, it's a little bit easier on you. So that is a plus. But the intense mode wasn't too bad for me. So we're just going to enjoy this beautiful night sky. Minecraft. Maybe, maybe fly above the clouds. Go up to the moon. Okay, one other option I noticed um, is this FOV. Field of view in the graphics options. So it was set in the middle. And we're going to see if I notice a difference by setting it all the way up. So let's play. And... I'm not sure that I do. Actually, I think before I might have noticed that the... The black circle, the ski goggle, you know, the ski goggle effect. Um, I think it is a tad bit wider. I think that's to help with um, rendering, just so it's not rendering so much more onto your screen and your phone won't overheat as fast. Um, but the difference is pretty minimal. Okay, so tell me what you guys want to see in Minecraft. I want to do stuff, but I'm kind of a noob. Whoa. Oh, those are my torches. So if you guys have suggestions, um, 
I'm sure we can have a lot of fun. Check out these beautiful lights. Yeah, no, it could be a, a lot of fun, so let's play some Minecraft. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and maybe comment below if you'd like to see more Minecraft videos. I think it'd be fun to go on different adventures in Minecraft VR and take suggestions from my viewers, so I hope I'll see you in the next video.